Hi, this is Chris, and this is the solar generator that I put together for use with my trailer. I want to be able to use the air conditioner in the microwave when it's sunny out. It's based on Renogy's 100 watt folding solar panels, and I use a Victron pure sine wave inverter. Let me show you what it's built out of. So I'm using the Victron MPPT solar charge controller and with the four panels I get about 300 watts of power. Uh, the nice thing about this controller is you can adjust the voltage. So I've got it set to 16.8 for my lithium ion battery. This is a lithium ion battery that I made using 18650 cells and the Varoons kit. So I'm using a Victron Phoenix pure sine wave inverter. It's about a thousand watts. The Victron Phoenix uh, inverter is very nice because it will run from anywhere from 10 volts to 17 volts. So I, I can run it right off the lithium ion batteries. And then I have a Drock um, DC to DC converter that outputs 12.8 volts that, is, that can be used with the cigarette lighter and the five volt USB charging ports. Got the fuse for the system. I also have a lithium ion charger for 16.8 volts that plugs into 110. The Victron equipment all have Bluetooth, even the battery voltage temperature sensor. Using the Renogy uh, foldable 100 watt panels, but in reality I only see about 80 watts out of the panels. I had one of my Renogy panels had defective hooks on it. They weren't sewed in and they just pulled right out. So they have another one on the way. Here are the four Renogy panels being set up for the solar generator. Four in the afternoon, we're getting about 300 watts. I picked up this Craftsman storage box at Lowe's. It has wheels on it and the handle, and it seems like it'll be good for storing things and keeping it protected from the weather. Here's the solar generator all set to go. It's got the four folded 100 watt panels and everything's inside and So I have the solar generator without the solar panels connected up to the trailer. I'm just using the regular AC plug, which is probably not the most efficient way to do things. But it looks like with the air conditioner running it's drawing 800 watts, so we should be doing okay. Hi, this is Chris. And this is Sue. From Serendipity Sue. Hope you're enjoying our channel. Please subscribe and hit like.